do want to give shelter to refugees. We're Irish, this is what we do. And we haven't done Cade Mila Fulte yet. We've only done 70,000. Would you think we should kind of pause and take a look at numbers now at this point, or do you think we should just continue to take people in? Well, I think, look, look, there's, there's no planning when it comes to government, and there needs to be a plan in how you integrate and how you bring people into the country. So there is no plan. So people should direct their anger at the government because they've no plan. They've no plan for housing, for the housing waiting list, over 100,000 people, and, and uh, the, the amount of people that are homeless is absolutely scandalous. Do you think we should continue to, to take in those numbers? I think the fact that they've left it to a junior style minister from the junior party, the Green Party, to cover all of this problem. I mean, where is Michal Martin? He's the bloody tarnister. He can bash heads together and then he asks for those buildings. We would have had a hundred buildings from the public rise into here. And what, where would the Social Democrats put all these people? Precisely the same thing. We would have done. We'd have approached every community and parish group and said, "Could you help out for?" People? But Roderick O'Gorman has done that. He hasn't had any help. Roderick O'Gorman doesn't hold the authority of Michal Martin or Leo Varadkar. Roderick O'Gorman is a green. But you said the Social Democrats would do the same. I mean, we don't have a published uh, policy completed because we have yet to have a full, updated debate. But we're going to. Ireland is very not full, but it's n uh, a lot of housing has been hoarded by people who have no right to it. I don't blame people for having a protest against not being told something and suddenly they've heard a rumour that 60 people are in a building beside them. You know, that's... But there, but there is a twist on it that they're racist or they're far right. I would very much doubt an entire com community could be racist, <laughs> you know, outside of Mississippi or somewhere. And even then, sorry to all people the 60, in Mississippi. In how by taking in a massive influx are we helping our own homeless situation? There's refugees sleeping on the streets now. Now we have to distinguish between the two issues. One is that the that the, the immigrants coming in, there needs to be a plan and how you house them, how you go about integrating them into communities. And then on the other hand, we have a housing crisis and that plan, which is failing, the government keeps telling us it's working, but it's failing. We're not building enough social and affordable housing. So it's creating this confusion with people and people are being sucked in uh, to make a protest. But Desi, like if you had 100,000 people that don't have a home, to the population. What's the long-term plan and what's Sinn Féin's long-term plan? Well, the plan, obviously the plan is to properly plan for the people that's coming into the country. The government has to have a proper plan to put them in place. Where would Sinn Féin put them? Well, we would build we would build the proper places and we would organise. How long would that take, Desi? Well, that's like anything. We're not in government and it, everything takes time. But in the meantime, we just have to get as much as, much as we can in terms of places. There was a poll that came out on Verizon Media done by the Red Sea to say 86% of the people in the country don't agree that we should take any more people in because we have issues with accommodating people. So are 86% of the people wrong, do you think? No, people people are un un under understand that we're having enough accommodation, right, whether it's housing for the people or housing for refugees coming in. But this is down to government.